City, live from Liberty Hall in the historic factory at Franklin. Music City Roots is on the air. Tonight, a traditional country star and Grand Ole Opry member, a legendary Roots folk songwriter who's never left his rock and roll origins entirely behind, and a couple of the coolest and most favorite thinking bluegrass bands out there. All that, plus the time-tested talents of our musical host. He's been putting the can back in America. Canna. <laughs> the con back in America. That doesn't sound just right. Well, anyway, for decades, he's the lovely and talented, ladies and gentlemen, it is just an honor to stand on this stage with him, Jim Lauderdale. Thank you, everybody. Thanks so much. Well, folks, I like to follow my intuition, you know, about songs, what to kick off with. And for some reason, this one was speaking to me. It's one I wrote many years ago with a friend of mine up north, and his name's John Messler, and the song's called Honky Tonk Haze. <laughs> Got a home somewhere. Haven't been there in days. Got someone said she'll be there always. Lord, I hope she can find me. Cause I think I've lost my way I've been here too long In my honky-tonk haze You say that life is so unkind You're broken-hearted and afraid the only friend that you've got You've never made So be good to me And I won't tell you to go away Just buy one more for me Honky tonk, hey. So don't ask me, cause I don't give a damn. Give me one more hour, and I won't know who I am. So don't say goodbye. I think I'm here to stay I'm feeling fine right here In my honky-tonk case Thanks so much. 
Thank you. Thanks for being here tonight, and welcome to Liberty Hall here at the factory in Franklin, Tennessee. And um, we've got some great live music coming up for you. And um, we, we have a lot of fun here every week, but I'll tell you what, I've had the most fun uh, recently with this guy over here, originally from Detroit. Let's hear it for John Walk... <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Keith, I... <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. Well, I, obviously. I mean, uh, I, we missed you. you uh, gosh, apart, did you man. did you have a, a good time away? We, yeah, I well, did. Great. Well, but it's, it's great to be back. It just well, it's great and to I'm have you. I'm glad you enjoyed working with John so well, much. Well, I did. I, really... I did. I did. But it's uh, it's great to have you back. Keith. Are you and, still in a honky tonk haze, or is this? What? <laughs> That's the old Keith. <laughs> we wouldn't we wouldn't be here down to earth without the historic voice of our radio announcer. He's on the air and he really does care, Mr. Keith Bilbury. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Well, you you really sing that song with a lot of authority. Have you have you been there? <laughs> and <laughs> Over, they say, right, what you know. That's, that's right. right. And over in the Griffin Technology chat room, our interview guy and journalist, he's going to help us get to know the artists a little bit in intimate conversations. He hasn't been slapped yet. Please welcome Craig Havighurst. Not yet. It was always the first time, and you might be here for it. Nice to see everybody. Guys, happy Nigel Tufnell Day. Jim, yeah. you know what we're talking I got, about? I get it. It's 11, yeah. 11 today. Right. We've got lots of amplifiers, and we've certified that tonight they all go to 11. <laughs> so happy Nigel Tufnell today to all of you as well. Back on, remember when 11, 11, 11? That was a very special one indeed. Yeah. Anyway, folks, it's great to have you here for the show. Thanks for being here. And uh, I get to say thanks to our partners, of course, who help us, some of whom help you literally get to the venue on the uh, what is newly dubbed the Acceptance Auto Insurance Bus. Who came on the bus tonight? Anybody came on the bus? Good. There's the contingent. It's a fun thing. And it leaves from Soul Shine Pizza in Midtown and from the Five Spot in East Nashville. And uh, it's, we call it our cross-county lines program, but it is here, heretofore known as the Acceptance Auto Insurance Bus. Why? Because Acceptance Insurance is a brand new sponsor of Music City Roots, coming aboard to help us present this each week, present our, nationally, uh, our national public television series, and uh, coming up in the winter, uh, specifically the IBMA Awards Highlight Show, which we just sent into national public television this week, and we'll be ready to be airing across the country on American public television. And we, uh, so it is covered, as you say, by Acceptance Insurance. And apparently, uh, Joe and Dina and Trina and Juliet and the gang are here tonight from Acceptance. Are you there? Okay. Some of them are here. There's Joe. Hey, guys. We're so happy to have you in the family, and we're going to have a ball here in the factory with you, with you guys. And, of course, we've been partying uh, for months now with Michael King and his team from Monel's Dining and Catering. They are, you've probably been to their wonderful Germantown restaurant or the one out by the airport. We love Monel's, serving you food up there and bringing the South to your mouth for 20 years. Thank you, Monel's, so much. Thank you also to Blackstone Brewery. They bring us the lineup each week. I haven't had my first Blackstone yet, but I'm about to. What a cool bunch of bands tonight. Old friends of mine, old favorites, one of the great uh, progressive bluegrass bands of this era, and they are the infamous String Dusters, yes, gonna be right here on the stage. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, touring with them, uh, doing some dates here in the Southeast, a terrific band from up in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades are here, yeah, making their debut on Roots. A guy I have been listening to since uh, the early 80s when the Plimsolls did A Million Miles Away, power pop nectar, but then became an amazing roots rock singer, songwriter, folk influence, all kinds of stuff. Can't wait to talk to him or meet him up here. Peter Case is here making his Roots debut. So I think that leaves it up to Jim. All right. Well, let's get started tonight with a celebration of authentic country music. He grew up on a Kentucky farm, but found his way to the top of the charts many, many times. He's a certified member of the Grand Ole Opry, and he has a grand voice, too. Folks, I think this is one of the greatest singers to ever come down the pike. Please welcome to Roots the great John Conley.
Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. Good to see everybody here tonight. We're going to kick it off with a song that from 1983 for all of us common folk. As the maid poured wine and we prepared to die, I knew I was feeling out of place. to McDonald's and I'll talk to you concerning something you should really know. I'm just a common man, drive a common van. My dog ain't got a pedigree. If I had my say, gonna stay that way. Cause high proud people lose their sanity. And a common man is what I'll be. Most of you as well, evidently. That's great. That's great. 1983. Sammy Johns wrote that for us, and uh, you made it a great big hit record, and we appreciate that. Uh, do we have anybody named Emily in in the uh, here in the in the uh, room tonight? And nobody named Emily, huh? Well, at least no men yelled out. Um, oh, you'll be your volunteer. Okay, what's your name really? Trish. That's close enough. We'll just change your name, okay? You'll be Emily Trish, and we'll do this song for you. Here is Miss Emily's picture. I wake up in the morning in a state of fright On the wrong side of the bed all night Clinging to the broken heart inside my head Open my eyes and I move my hand From round her pillow to the nightstand And straighten Miss Emily's picture by my bed Go to the office, the work's piled up Put three fingers bourbon in my coffee cup And cry on my best friend's shoulder down the hall Feel so lonely when I close the door Bite my nails and I walk the floor And straighten Miss Emily's picture on my wall Look out my window and what do I see? Nothing but pain looking back at me And all that my future means to me Is tossing yesterday's love Great. 
I could do the same thing in my head Drink a beer and eat a bite Just before I turn out the light I straight Miss Emily's picture by my bed Look out my window and what do I see? Do not be af do not be afraid, earthlings. Now that's a pro right there. That's a, that is a pro. That's a whole new way of doing that now, I'm telling you. We, 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 we may institute that. No, we won't. No, we won't do that. Let me turn things back over to the great John Conn. All right. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Our, so we're certain that we know, we know where that problem was, right, before I launch into the next fun-filled song. Okay. Uh, how many people are over 30 in the house here tonight? Over 30. <laughs> Keith, did you raise your hand? You did, you did, Keith didn't raise his hand. All right. Well, these are my people. If you're over 30, we're glad you're here. Anybody under 30? Under 30 people? Yeah! Three, not you. No, no, no. And several of these folks out here are not telling me the truth either, but some are. If you're under 30, we're glad. Oh, look, under 30, way under 30. <laughs> Your time is coming. If you're under 30, here's a song about being on the back side of it. Yeah. Well. Making money at 30 with a wife and a son. Then a short five years later, it all Undone. She's gone back to mama with the boy by her side. Now I'm wine drunk and running. month's rent. And when my friends ask me, Lord, I tell them I'm fine. But my eyes tell a story that my lies can't hide. I'm on the back side of 30 and back on my own. And if he apart The 
1976 is when I wrote that song, and uh, and I was just on the other side of 30 when I, when that happened. So 1976. If you brought a calculator, get to work. You'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, we're going to go from the very beginning and the first session I ever did, which is what we recorded uh, backside in, to uh, to our very latest. And this song is uh, is uh, is a single for us uh, currently. It's on the uh, uh, our latest CD, which is called Classics Two. And Vince Gill uh, and Leslie Satcher wrote this song. But what writers they are, and uh, what an artist uh, Vince is. He's he's great. And I, in fact, I love to hear Leslie sing too when I get a chance. Anyway, this is a story of redemption. Listen up on the story to a song called "Bread and Water." One night he wandered into that old mission The one down on the poor side of town He really had no interest in salvation Just a place to lay his drunk old body down He said, ma'am, I sure am hungry, but I don't have a penny to my name. Lord knows I haven't worked in a month of Sundays. I'm dirty, dead, broke, and so ashamed. to rest my feet I ain't too proud to get down on my knees if the bread and water's free She said you're always welcome at this table Cause brother you look like you could use a friend There's no need to pay if you're not able For even Jesus was a homeless man She opened up the Word and started reading About the Savior and the woman at the well Said it's not for me to judge this life you're leaving, but only two things that can save your soul from hell. It's bread and water, and man, that's all you need. Bread and water, a place to rest your feet. If you ain't too proud to get down on your knees, the bread and water's free. When he bowed his head, he kind of choked up. They spoke every word of our Lord's prayer. Then he closed his eyes and never woke up. But he'll find bread and water waiting there. It's bread and water, man, that's all you need. Bread and water, a place to rest your feet. If you ain't too proud 
the bread and water's free. Bread and water. Yes. Thank you. Great song, Vince Gill and Leslie Satcher. Thank you very much. Glad you like that. Well, uh, we've released that to radio, so you call your favorite station and ask them for it because they do have it on hand. They may not be playing it yet, but if you ask them enough, maybe they will. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the CD that uh, that comes from is available right over here. We brought some of those with us here tonight, Classics 2 and Classics 1. And uh, we're going we're gonna to skip now back to the first Classics uh, CD. And, in fact, cut one from that CD is what we're going to do for you next and it does require paraphernalia. And I got mine right here. If you want some of the, if you got a pair of these, put them up on your face. 1978. standard in music, not just a hit, but a standard, and we thank you for that. 1978, that uh, got our whole career underway. Well, before we do this next song, I want to introduce uh, quickly our uh, band here, the John Conley Band, and we're going to begin with this gentleman right here, who is our band leader, road manager, he plays lead guitar, acoustic guitar, and harmonica. Say hello to Steve Seckler right there. And, and he and Jim were born, Jim Lauderdale, were born in the same hospital. Yeah, I hope they didn't get you all mixed up. 
This could be very interesting. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to dig into that. Over on keyboards and background harmony, that would be Mickey G right over there. <laughs> Webmaster for johnconley.com also does a great job playing drums and singing background harmony. That's Gary Lalone here. And this little bitty guy on the bass filling in tonight for uh, our, uh, I, I started to say normal bass player, but we don't have a normal bass player. Lance Martin is his name, but this guy's name is Gage Becker, right here. Gage, <laughs> filling in on bass. All right. We're going to leave you with a song that uh, you'll find on our gospel CD. Uh, this song is straight out of the hymn book. Uh, it's my favorite song of all time in all formats. I believe it to be an anointed song as well. And, uh, and I hope it blesses you. This is our version of Amazing Grace. Wow. That say a wretch like me, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. That taught my heart to fear And grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace appear The hour
Thank you so much, everybody. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jim. God bless you. Thank you. Conley, everybody. John Connolly, let's hear it for him. Yeah. That was awesome, you guys. Hey, you know what, folks, every once in a while I get a little selfish, and I would just love, and maybe some of y'all join me in this sentiment because of some of the technical difficulties we were having earlier, I'd sure love to hear Miss Emily's picture again. If John, if John, would you come out? Let's. All right. Let's hear it for the great John Connolly. Thank you. Thank you so much. John, I'm just wondering if uh, our buddy Red Lane had something to do with that. You know, he he wrote the song and he recently passed. From he it. he did. He did. I'm indeed. I'm wondering. He's been out to Music City, Rich. Uh, has he? Yeah. yeah. Red, what what a great songwriter he, oh, was. he was. What a great guy. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe Red's lingering somewhere. I don't know. Well, <laughs> it may be. I hope he <laughs> wouldn't have caused again, that. If it happens again, we'll know. If, yeah. If it happens again, then we'll we'll know, and we will abandon the idea. <laughs> Okay, Trish, are you ready for this one more time? Yeah. All right, well, Trish is Emily, and here's the song, Miss Emily's Picture One More Time. Oh. I wake up in the morning in a state of fright On the wrong side of the bed all night Clinging to the broken heart inside my head Open my eyes and I move my hand From round a pillow to the nightstand And straighten Miss Emily's picture by my bed Go to the office The work's piled up Pour three fingers bourbon in my coffee cup Cry on my best friend's shoulder down the hall Feel so lonely when I close the door Bite my nails and I walk the floor And straighten Miss Emily's picture on my wall Look out my window and what do I see? And yesterday's love out into the wind And straighten Miss Emily's picture now and then Leave my office and I go downtown To a little bar we all hang around Laugh, drink beer, shoot pool have a ball When the laughter stops And the hurting takes hold Reach in my pocket For my billfold And show Miss Emily's Picture to them all I stagger in my house And I slam the door Scatter my clothes All over the floor Wishing I could do the same thing in my head Drink a beer and eat a bite And just before I turn out the light I straighten Miss Emily's picture by my bed Look out my window and what do I see? Tossing yesterday's love out into the wind And straighten Miss Emily's picture now and then Oh, 
All about Miss Emily. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Great to be with you. Music City Roots. Thank you, Jim. Great John Connolly. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. John Conley, everybody. Guys, that was fantastic. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Gosh, I wonder, I, I wonder if they did mix us up in the hospital. <laughs> Ever since. Thank you. Uh, oh, Keith. Hey, you know a little interesting tidbit about that song? Red was a good friend of mine, and he included people he knew in the songs. Like Emily, it wasn't about his grandmother, but her name was Emily. So she, and the day I jumped from Uncle Harvey's planes, all those names you hear in there are real people. In fact, I, I met uh, Uncle Harvey's son. At the, and I, I'm, I'm saying all this because it leads to the fact that you and I have been friends for a long time. Yeah, and we have. You yeah. write songs. And yeah. I just thought maybe you'd throw me in there somewhere. <laughs> Sure. Uh, I'm not really writing much, uh -huh. uh, though. It's not the, hard to rhyme, Keith. You can, you can rhyme it with well, a lot of Bill, things. Or Bilbrey. Well, Bilbrey's even yeah. easier. My middle name's Alan, in case you want to throw that in. You know what? That does have a ring to it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you something else that has a ring to it, is Monell's oh, food. It's got a ring that... Banana uh, foot. And you know what? I've been wanting to share with this you. This is better for, than having your name in a Jim Lauderdale that's right. song. Right that's here. right. Here. Here, Keith, wait, will you hold this for a second? Certainly. Keith, let's do our, our uh, yes. cross arm. Not yeah. the cross arm thing. <laughs> Afraid this is a trick. Huh? <laughs> mm. Keith, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. I Did I spill that. some on you? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I knew you was going to. No, you didn't. I'm kidding you. Welcome back, Keith. Keith. K E I T H. Keith Milbury. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Well, folks, if you enjoy our show, you have to know it's made possible by our sponsors. Right now, we'd like to talk about the amazing Star 129 Diamond. It's hard to describe the difference between a Star 129 and an ordinary diamond over the radio. It's one of those things you just need to see it. It's created using patented technology, which we believe is the most significant advancement in diamond cutting technology in nearly 100 years. Now, there's only one place in Nashville to see it in person, and that's Forster's Diamond Outlet on Hickory Hollow Parkway in Nashville. Now, here's the good news. While you're there, say you get a case of Diamond Envy. Well, you can ask about their trade-in program, and in some cases, your old diamond can even be recut by master craftsmen and transformed into a Star 129 created to outsparkle Norman, uh, normal diamonds to the naked eye, which is what really counts. Now, take a look at the display here in the hall. Visit Diamond Outlet on Hickory Hollow Parkway in Nashville. And the rest of you all around the country can find a dealer near you at star129.com. By the way, thanks to Griffin Technology for the phone charging station up in Sponsor Village. It's right over there if you need a quick charge. Right now, let's get a quick charge from Craig Haverhurst it's, over in the Griffin Technology yeah, chat room. That's where we are, the Griffin Technology chat room. Let's chat with a couple of string dusters, folks. Dobro player Andy Hall, banjo player Chris Pandolfi. I know. Exciting to have you back. Great to be back. I would see you anywhere, but sure lovely to see you on our stage. Uh, a stage that you guys have built yourself in uh, the wilds of Virginia. Uh, you call it the Festi and Y'all's Festival. I think you just had year number five, six. six? Yep. So congratulations on that. Uh, give us a little cut update because it just happened. Yeah, Festi Six is in the books. <laughs> and um, it's been such a great thing for us to throw this annual event where our fans get together as well as the music scene that we're involved in and a lot of bands, you know, ranging from our peers and our friends to... Heroes like John Hyatt and Lyle Lovett this year, Sam Bush, et cetera, et cetera. So um, it's been such a great thing over the years to kind of create this place where people can gather and, and be a part of our world. So yeah, Festi 6 is in the books, and it was the best one yet. And there's a brew pub on the grounds. There is just an to make excellent sure, just to sell it a little harder. It's an amazing experience. I think I went to uh, year two, and it was really memorable. I mean, curating it must speak to how you guys, you you're, you know, you get to apply your taste, which is not uh, bluegrass only. I mean, it's pretty wide ranging. 
Yeah, and that's kind of part of why we like to be part of the curating is just because we see and meet so many bands throughout the year, you know, and a lot of the shows that we do aren't just bluegrass oriented yeah. shows or festivals. So we see bands like, you know, the Wood Brothers or Lyle Lovich on I High saw Lake like Street that. Dive for the first time there. Yeah, exactly. When they were sort of still a little bit earlier on, Lake Street Dive was there a few years. Um, you know, bands like the Shook Twins, lesser known bands. So, yeah, it's bands that sometimes we play shows with, bands that we just hear and are interested mm -hmm. in, you know, and, uh, and you make connections that way. Bands come to the festival, they fall in love with it, and then maybe we, you know, do something throughout the next year with them. Yeah. So it's a cool way to meet musicians. What have you learned about your fans by having a place where they come to you? Well, you get to hang out with them a lot. And, uh, you know, every year there's more and more, which is awesome. And, you know, our fans are just really nice, cool, interesting people. <laughs> yeah. They come from all over the country. And, uh, you know, and it's a bit of a family. You know, it's a bit of a family gathering. They know each other from social media and from online. And then they come to this festival and meet each other maybe for the first time. You know, they'd connected online or whatever. And they right. come to the festi and all of a sudden they get to see each other in the flesh and hang out and uh, and so a lot of great friendships are made that way marvelous uh so there's a current uh, the most recent cd is let it go and then there's a more recent uh ep called undercover which is uh five or six covers dylan cash tom petty uh you guys have done covers famously in shows cover uh walking on the moon things like that what led to the deci decision to record those we wanted to record something live and sort of have a project that would kind of bridge the gap between our last recording, Let It Go, and a project that we're getting ready to release next year. And um, you know, the whole idea was just to do something live, you know, not to have something that's too overcooked. And we talked about it, and we have, you know, a lot of great covers that we have sort of cultivated over the years and arranged to fit the string band thing. So the idea was just get in there for a day, record a bunch of songs, and you know, it, it, it turned out great. We're used to, like a lot of bands, polishing things in the studio, so to actually sort of embrace the live concept and just be a band for a day and capture a picking session, you know, once you get over the fact that there are mics around, it was really, it was a cool chance to do that, and, and uh, you know, we liked the way it turned out. Oh, nice. So speaking of playing live, that's what, I mean, I could follow you guys around because it's a different show every night. You are one of the most dynamic. The interplay with y'all is really special. Can you just describe kind of in the years one, two, and three how that began to cohere? Because it was knowing y'all like one of the things that drove you as musicians. You knew you'd found fellow musicians that could, with a single glance, make something happen in a tune that had never happened before. Yeah, we were really lucky to sort of team up together and, and realize that quality in each other, that we wanted to be a part of a band that created something spontaneous night to night. And, but it took a lot of development. I mean, even though we were able to observe bands that we look up to and see how they do their improv thing live, it still takes you a while to find your own voice. And you know, over the course of some years, experimenting with it and just talking about it a lot as a band you know how do we want this to go how do things work on stage and trying things and you know it's tough because you can't really rehearse that stuff you need an audience there yeah, to yeah. sort of be a test case and give you a con get an idea of whether this is working or not it takes so, courage on the band's part let's just uh, go here and hope for the best yeah and, and sometimes yeah. it works out yeah. much better than other times mm -hmm. and that's you know <laughs> those are the sort of risks and rewards of being that type of band but it's something that we really love to do and have embraced over the years and something, as you say, that has sort of come to define us as a yeah. band. It's one of the great things about to see that ethic applied to bluegrass music, which is a music of verse, chorus, solo, verse, chorus, solo. I mean, it's a tradition that we all adore, but when to think about in, injecting that improvisational freedom into that a great American genre, it's just become what you do and what a lot of your colleague and peer bands do. It's an exciting scene and an exciting time. Yeah, it's fun for us because we love traditional bluegrass. Like, you know, we spend a lot of time learning it and trying to learn it. But yeah, like you say, to infuse in addition to that, you know, just the improvisational element, you know, playing shows night after night where fans will come to multiple shows, they'll follow you. And so they, yeah. they probably hope to expect something different night to night. And, uh, and, we, and it keeps it interesting for us, for sure. But um, but we'll always throw in a, you know something that's uh, traditional in our set and do it our own way you know so well great uh, they'll be back to uh, close the show and there's some big stuff coming up in 2016 that we that you all will find out about soon enough and thanks for being here all thanks right. Craig Panda Andy infamous string dusters coming at you later on I think we got to sing about some chili we always do that about this time Ali Sutton is center stage welcome.
so much. I have JC Anderson and Travis Hillisland here with me tonight, and we're going to bring to you a word from our sponsor, Vietti Chili. Vietti Chili, it's better than all the rest. Vietti, oh, oh, Vietti. Vietti Chili, you know it's going to pass the test. Vietti, oh, oh, Vietti. When I want chili, there's only one thought in mind. Vietti, oh, oh, Vietti. Say it's so great, it's the best that you can find. Vietti, oh, oh, Vietti. So serene, beef and beans, Vietti chili, yeah. Oh, yeah. Allie Sutton here, your Vietti chili girl, coming to you from Music City Roots and bringing you Nashville's hometown chili. And I wanted to wish you a happy Veterans Day. It's Minnesota sun, so come on and get you some. Vietti chili. Thank you so much. Thank you, JC and Travis. And now let's get back to the show with Mr. Jim Lauderdale. Well, thank you, Ally Sutton. Well, folks, up next is, is a guy who I'm such a big fan of, and, and he doesn't get enough notoriety for his stunning talents and the great music he's released so consistently since the 1980s when they put out a... And, yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to hear that in a second. When they put out a various artists' tribute to his songwriting in 2006, it took three CDs and more than 40 artists stepped forward to cut his songs. Now... Let's please welcome a great artist to Roots. Here's Peter Case. <laughs> wow, thanks a lot, man. All right. Thank you. Great to be here at the show. And uh, I got a new album out, the first one in five years, actually. And uh, I was working on it seven days a week, about 20 hours a day for all five years there. And... Uh, <laughs> Finally came up with this thing. But this is a song about a place out in Canada. The album's called Highway 62, and that's a highway that connects Mexico with Canada. It's an east-west highway. It runs from uh, Juarez all the way up to uh, Buffalo, New York, and Niagara Falls. And I grew up a block off the road, but that has nothing to do with this next song. But thank, good thing I'm a folk singer and I can get away with that. So uh, this is about a place up in California called Pelican Bay. It sounds like a vacation spot, but actually it's a... Uh, it's a prison. It's got 6,500 people in solitary confinement. No joke. Well, a convicted full-time burglar made a prison break. He lasted three weeks on the run, got as far as the next day. So they brought him back and sentenced him 15 years of hell. Sent him in a shoe at Billigan Bay in a solitary cell. Well, he said there's nothing to it to himself as they slammed the door. On an eight by ten foot cubicle, a bed and that much more. It's the Pelican Bay Supermax, no calendar to count the days. Of endless isolation, lost in a one room maze. Now there's two million people in prison Tonight in the USA 80,000 in solitary And a hunger stock on Pelican Bay Now day and night, the rest of light The window for the sun They shove your boot in through a slot So you never see no one It's a 23-hour lockdown Under their control that breathe and rots away your soul. Now there's two million people in prison tonight in the USA. Saving thousand is solitary and a hunger stock on Pelican Bay. Made him 
himself a chest set out of black and lint. But the guys were feeling angry, so they confiscated it for the slightest of infractions extracted from his cell. Pretty good, he got a broken jaw. The guy just says he fell. Now there's two million people in prison tonight in the USA. 80,000 in solitary and a hunger strike on Hell Can Be. Well, it ain't no kind of justice. It's a system of abuse. There ain't no courts watching over it. Politicians say, what's the use? Got the highest rate of incarceration in the world after prisoners are black. Well, it's a brand of slavery. Everybody knows the deck is stacked. Now there's two million people in prison tonight in the USA. 80,000 in Supermax and a hunger stock on Pelican Bay. Pelican Bay. Are there any questions so far? I always like to ask that. My parents were teachers. Hey, the best thing that can happen to a songwriter, you know, I've been, I've been coming through here in Nashville and writing songs here and all over the place. In fact, I started writing songs when I was 11 years old. I wrote a song called, uh, my first song was called Stay Away From Me, I'm No Good For You. And I wrote it for Barbie, who lived next door. I was already hip to that reverse psychology, you know. And uh, the very best thing that can happen to a songwriter now is if you write like a really heartfelt love song. And it gets picked up on a big vampire show on TV. <laughs> and so that's what happened with this one. It got on the show True, True Blood. In fact, when they used the song on the show. Two shapeshifters were making love on a pool table, <laughs> which is kind of weird because that's, that's exactly what I was thinking about when I wrote the song. <laughs> so now you can think about it and I'll sing the song.
was a whisper inside the wind through the leaves was a whisper inside but all the stars in the light were angels of light for you and I there must have been two angels or was it you and me and flown, left us here all alone, how can it be? Now those angels have gone, left us here to carry on, how can it be? There must have been two angels, there must have been two angels, there must have been two angels. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Well, I hope none of that scary stuff starts happening during my set. I don't know what I'd do. All right. I've had weird stuff happen during my shows before. Okay, here's one off a record I put out a few years ago called Wig, and uh, it's called House Rent Party. And uh, this goes out to... Uh, all you people at home listening tonight, and uh, people out driving in their cars right now listening, be careful out there. Don't lose control of the car when you're listening to this one. Don't get too excited. Just pull over if you need to. She was standing on the corner of Wonderland and Wall, waiting for the light to change and wondering where to go. Take the bottles to the grocery, sell the records to the shop, step out on a sidewalk and make some traffic stop. Cause the phones are disconnected and the landlord's at the door. The tow truck's at the curbside, here to repossess the Ford. And there's a house rent party tonight. Everybody's shit oh, We're gonna blow the roof sky high We're gonna catch a break Cause when they put you on the street You can sit and watch the dawn But there's always something you can do When your last gold dollar's gone Got his double-breasted jacket, some cherry wingtip shoes, big old hat with a feather high and a pocket flask of booze. But he can't afford the treatments, and there ain't another cure. Sad to say, without more pay, he won't get well no more. Then the night falls up on Broadway, and the neon starts to shine, and the dancers in the love act getting ready for the grind. And there's a house rent party tonight, everybody's shit. Gonna blow the roof sky high. We'll see how much we can take. And I know we're gonna make it, don't care what I have to do. And I know you do the same for me as I would do for you. And as I swim part of the Bought a lucky ticket and I pinned it to the shelf. I put one away for you, baby, then I kept one for myself. I'm gonna take my winnings, I'm gonna disappear. I'm gonna start a brand new band, we'll play anywhere but here. Cause there's nothing coming in and sugar, nothing's going out. There's nothing left to talk about if all we do is shout. And there's a house rent party tonight, everybody's shaking. 
We're gonna blow the roof sky high We're gonna catch a break Cause when they put you on the street You can sit and watch the dawn But there's always something you can do When your last gold dollar's gone And there's a house ramp party tonight Everybody's shaking we're gonna blow the roof sky high See how much we can take And I know we're gonna make it Don't care what I have to do And I know you do the same for me As I would do for you And as a house ramp party tonight All right, thank you All right, I'm going to switch guitars here. Hold on now. Hold a second. This just takes about 25 minutes to switch these guitars. Hold on. Now. All right, here's a song I wrote. My son used to go on the road with me, and I wrote this song with him back then. He, he's a few years older than me now, so he doesn't really go on tour. But, uh, but uh, we wrote this together. Uh, Kind of a combination of um, kind of Celtic music and uh, blues. I call this kind of music Celtabilly. <laughs> you heard it here first. It's called On the Way Downtown. Combed my hair and left this place Felt the shiver in my chest when I hit the door The promise of something here worth living for I had a fight with a woman that had My kids can't get along with anyone What if I did? I'm going back to the corner where we used to meet When our dreams were young and nights were sweet I'm going out tonight, going way downtown Where my friends who died still hang around See what's shaking as the leaves turn brown Season's been and gone But there's another one coming on And I'm on my way down town Well, it was 30 years ago in the setting sun I was walking down Union Street I started to run Down into a cellar where the music screamed I guess it hit me hotter than I ever dreamed In the Palace Theater Hall later on that night There were miracles in store but not a soul in sight Pay phone rang and didn't seem so strange Anything could happen, everything could change I'm going out tonight Way downtown with my friends Hang around All that moonlight spilling on the ground The season's been and gone cut in half. The girls are smoking cigarettes and chewing gum. They just get scared when they see me. Ah, way downtown, the corners moved. Sandstone slabs are worn and grooved. Turn them black in the first drops of rain. You can smell the earth and sky again. The elms by the schoolyard wall Summer's over and the fields are tall Season's been and gone But there's another one coming on And I'm on my way down town Thank you. 
Got one more jam for you. Maybe we need to turn the guitar up just a slight bit in the, in the house. Just a little, just a hair of a hair there. All right, you guys, here we go. We've got one more jam here, and this is called First Light. Far off and gone Needing you more As life goes on But if this is the day I die We'll be together again Watching the daylight Come through again Now I know I never loved anybody Before I saw you in the first light Black 
black smoke rising It's rising up above my head In every black moon rising, yeah Above my head Now I believe what the Bible says Meet me, Jesus, meet me And Peter Case, everybody. Peter, thank you, my friend. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Peter, look out there. Look at him. Peter Case. You know, folks, last week, uh, the mayor of Santa Monica, California, was here. They were in town uh, for a convention, and he and his wife were here, and he said, Please tell Peter Case that I said hi. He said, we had a Peter Case day in Santa Monica. I think we should make this Peter Case day here, too, at Music yeah. City Roots. Let's hear it for him. Now, folks, I, haven't, I hope you haven't forgotten, but you can listen to Roots Radio all day long right from your smartphone. So go to your app store and download Roots Radio for Music City Roots Cuts 24-7. And if you show your app at our merch table, they'll give you a free gift sticker. So go ahead and, and load up on those apps and go over there and show it to them. And what, what kind of sticker? Uh, that's a surprise. Oh. Uh, Keith, that was, it's supposed to be a surprise oh. for the people. Well, then check that okay. out. Okay. Uh, but uh, this will come as no surprise. I mean, is, it, is it like the, Music City Roots or is it Pokemon or what, what is it? It's a surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, this will come as no surprise, though. Whatever comes out of this man's mouth is going to be great. Here's Keith Bilbrey. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're listening to Music City Roots, uh, the Roots Radio Network, based in Nashville and Franklin, Tennessee. would like to give a shout-out to affiliate station WUMB in Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, they talk funny up there, don't they? And one of our newest affiliates, KRSH in Santa Rosa, California. And, of course, hello to all our live stream listeners listening across the country and the world. Those of you in the U.S., don't forget to check your local PBS listings and set your DVR for Music City Roots live from the factory. Well, what if you could keep an eye on your finances 24-7 no matter where you are or what you're doing? Well, Ascent Federal Credit Union offers free, convenient account access
process with eBranch, online bill payment with ePay, and online statements with eStatements. Use the Sends app to access your accounts on your favorite mobile device. Stay on the go with Ascend Services and see what's possible. Visit ascendfcu.org to register for e-services from Ascend. Ascend Federal Credit Union, raising possibilities. Ascend is federally insured by the NCUA. Membership is limited. Right now, we're going to give away a $25 prepaid Visa card, compliments of Ascend. And not only that, but Allie Sutton is going to draw the name. So are you ready? I like your earrings, by the way, with the little American flags. Yes, for Veterans Day. That's nice. Okay, here we go. And the winner is, oh, drummer's busy, Fred Patterson from Fayetteville, Tennessee. Fred, are you here? There he is. Go over to the Ascend desk and get you a free $25 prepaid Visa card. Good deal. Thank you, Allie. Big hand for Allie. Yes, sir. And now let's go over to the chat room. And there he is with uh, one of my favorite singers, disc jockeys, and morticians, <laughs> John Conley. I know. I'm a lucky man. John Conley, one more time, everybody. It's good to Thank have you. a few words. And uh, yes, welcome to our stage. On behalf of all of us, we have never quite had a sound meltdown like that, and I am so sorry. I'm so glad I got to be a part of it. We, uh, we it, and for everybody out here, what happened was one of these little crowd mics got nudged, and it was talking to one of these monitor wedges, and so none of the guys out there knew how to do anything about it. Nobody back there knew what was going on. Our crack crew got to the bottom of it, and that will never happen again. But uh, loved having you get to do the song over, and uh, thanks for being a my pro pleasure. and patient sure, my pleasure. with us. So I'd love to just walk through a couple of chapters. Uh, you, you, you were a farm kid from Kentucky. Correct. And I got to hear about the first time that you were able to come to Nashville and take what had been a nascent love of music and, and really think, I'm going to give this a try. How, how old were you and what were your, what were your, what were your thoughts and expectations? Uh, when I came to Nashville, I, I came here because I got a job at a radio station. Keith alluded to the fact that I was a disc jockey, and I, was, I did that a total of nine years. I got a job at WLAC here in town and uh, was here for three or four years and, uh, before I started uh, trying to maybe turn the hobby of music into a career. I started writing a little bit and pitching those songs around town, and it eventually worked out. So really, when you were new to town and a disc, disc jockey, you were not secretly no, I piling didn't. songs up and waiting to meet Chet Atkins. If I had gotten a job in another market in radio, yeah. music would have never become a, oh. a, a career. It would have just remained my hobby, I guess. When did you discover your voice and find that people liked it and that you have got had something to bring to a song? Well, when I started writing, I mean, I've always sung. I've sung since I was a kid uh, at all the things you do as an amateur at school, church, and so forth. But uh, when I started writing, I did my own demos, just simple guitar voice demos. And when I pitched them around town, very few people were interested in the songs, but they always wanted to know who was singing. And of course it was me. Okay. Uh, but it still took two or three years before somebody offered us a chance to record. And what was that like? Early on, there was something called ABC Records, an old, a label from back in the day. Was that your first it signed was. label? ABC Records, which was run by one of the uh, icons in all of the music industry, a guy named Jim Fogelsong. He signed oh, me great He signed me to ABC. And then, of course, when the merger with MCA took place, Jim and crew took over MCA. And, I, and of course, I remained with him uh, up until, you know, until we left, until he left, and so did I. <laughs> Who were some of the other figures that really said to you that, that sort of spoke to the best of Nashville and who you really admired, whether they were business or musicians, but who th made you think this is a community and a world that is right? Oh, I, I got to meet a whole lot of wonderful people in the business. John Doris is another gentleman who's still around. Uh, he manages the Whites and among other things. And, uh, but there are so many uh, iconic folks back in that day. And particularly in that day, the people in charge of most labels, uh, like Jim, they had an ear for music and it wasn't done by committee at, like it is now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that I would be interested in pursuing a recording career now as, an, as a new artist, uh, the way the industry works now. Uh, the way I was able to do it, I, I got to do my music the way I wanted to. Yeah. 
And uh, you, a lot of folks don't get to do that now. They, it has to run through the committee before they... Uh, I do get this sense that it, it was a, for many decades really here, the writers, the musicians, the record companies, right. they drove the train with the art and they brought the music that they thought was the best music they could make to radio and radio played most of that. Most of that. Now right. radio seems to be like, only send us stuff that's going to fit through these three exactly, keyholes. Right. Exactly, right. Exactly. And again, so I wouldn't be interested in yeah. that. Uh, song and sound was the important thing back then. Yeah. It should be again. There's no reason why it couldn't be again. Uh, and someday and it will sound. cycle back, I hope. Yeah. You know, song and sound. Well, some of it is going, some of it but is going, so much of it is going on in the independent world. There's never been a better time for country exactly. music. It's just that it's got its own infrastructure. So then uh, the Opry. You have been a fixture there for so many years. Uh, first time you ever played the Opry stage. What was, that, what was that about? Well, it was wonderful. I, like so many other people, grew up listening to the Grand Ole Opry. My dad was a big fan. And uh, growing up in central Kentucky, uh, we, he, he tuned it in many weekends, uh, particularly. It, we were just close enough to Nashville in central Kentucky that the, the station didn't come in that well on the table radio, but it came in great out in the truck <laughs> with the antenna lie. outside, you know. So when we were riding around, that's when I listened to it the most, never dreaming I'd ever be on that stage. Yeah. First songbook I ever bought uh, when I started taking guitar lessons at age nine or ten, eight, whatever I was, was Little Jimmy Dickens' songbook number one. Yeah. And years later, I got to, of course, share the stage with him for so many years, but I got him to sign that songbook for me. I, I kept it. And uh, Jim signed it for me. He was, nice. yeah. Well, you are making music now, and uh, we were just talking about uh, Bread and Water, and you mentioned that that was a new single. And uh, just to use that as a symbol of, of how you're staying active and challenged oh, yeah. and excited as an artist. Well, we're, we're able to, uh, be, you know, I have my own label, Rose Colored Records. We're doing our own music our way on our label. Yep. And uh, because I have a body of work, uh, I'm able to, to do that, and people still want to hear us do new stuff. So we, uh, when we find them, we do them. And Bread and Water is a great example of a song with meat on its bones, a story to tell. Yeah. And uh, I'm just thankful to have uh, gotten, a, gotten my hands on it. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Well, thanks for staying so vibrant. I mean, this is to, to hear your voice tonight on our stage means a whole, whole lot. Thank you so, so much. My John pleasure. Conley, everybody. Thank you, folks. He's a great talent. I think we're moving on to some bluegrass chapter of thanks our show. Again. Thanks <laughs> again, John. For sure. Yeah. Folks, up here now are five natives of the great state of Wisconsin. Where, surprise, surprise, bluegrass and old-time music are alive and well. These guys have been out there making folks dance and pay attention for five years, sharing stages with the elite of jam grass, from Railroad Earth to our next guests, the infamous String Dusters. Please welcome Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. Thanks, Jim. So good to be on Music City.
Man, how about John Connolly, y'all? I, uh, I agreed with a lot of uh, what he had to say there about the, uh, the country music industry, and so I'm wearing the, the rose-colored glasses right here. <laughs> how about Peter Case, too, there, everybody? Yeah. Well, here's a little tune I wrote about the rivers back home. Pushing on the summer sea I'll never know all of her For she's ever changing as the moments pack you And her kiss is worth a thousand penalties May she grow strong till the end of day Now the twists and bends of the way she moves All soft against my open palms What I love most is the touch of her Watching more my body on a restless day And her kiss is worth a thousand fatal tears May she grow strong till the end of day The color of the sky is her hip silhouette in the dying sun. Water in my hand when the morning come, I can hear her voice rushing by my side. And your kiss is worth a thousand little tears, my sheep, grow strong till the end of day. Peterson. He comes from Osceola, Wisconsin, y'all. Uh, Moo. <laughs> well, man, we like to do lots of original music, and uh, we're going to do you guys a tune. This guy on the fiddle, also wearing a cow hat. Moo. It was uh, Mr. Colin Metallica, and he comes from Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is a song called Old Man and Me. Just a memory of the old man that one day I'll be Could I improvise a symphony at a funeral cursing nose? Tango your fingers in mine Hot sex and ice cold brandy wine This night could transcend space and time and time again 
take off, hear karma at the door Strip down to the shoe and nothing more Scream out cause we're young and dumb and poor Another drink Just a minstrel show for the old man right before he goes To be beneath his last laurel, my epitaph would read Consider, friend, as you walk by, as you are now, so once was I As I am now, you too shall be grateful for today Work hard and play till you can't breathe Your love is all that you can be Time lost is something you should grieve, but not for me Would it really bother you? Not me, cause it plays out all the same Cast away from this foreign land And hold your sister by the hand Blood and bones, these we understand above it all So when my time is running thin Who knows what kind of shape I'm in I hope I have the strength to grin as I see you Tango your fingers in mine Hot sex and ice cold brandy wine this night could transcend space and time and time again. Man, I mentioned earlier that uh, we're a little ways from home. We came uh, from, from Wisconsin. That's where we're from. And uh, part of the, thanks, yeah. We, we like it up there. Uh, it was a beautiful fall. Uh, but we got poonchkas up there. That's a, a jelly donut, and we got, we got polkas, too, polka music. And uh, a key tenet of polka music is the accordion, and we like to do a couple numbers with that in, uh, in kind of Davy's own style, folks. Uh, he comes from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's, uh, oh, man, he's the joker in the band, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> please make welcome from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, folks, Mr. David Charles Lynch here on the harmonica and the squeeze box. A tune he wrote. I left my cow hat at home. <laughs>
David Lynch on the accordion, everybody. Might be time for a sing song here, huh? And bog and the bog down in the valley, oh now rare bog, bog the rattling bog in the bog down in the valley, oh. And in that bog there was a tree, a rare tree, a rattling tree. And the tree in the bog in the bog down in the valley, oh. Bo bo the rattling bog in the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, in the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that tree there was a limb, a rare limb, a rattling limb. And the limb on the tree, and the tree in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh. Bo, bo, the rattling bog, in the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, in the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that limb there was a branch, a rare branch, a rattling branch. And the branch on the limb, and the limb on the tree, and the tree in the bog, in the bog down in the valley, oh. Bo bo the rattling bog in the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog the rattling bog in the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that branch there was a twig, rare twig, a rattling twig. And twig and a branch and a branch and a limb and a limb and a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh. Bo bo the rattling bog in the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog the rattling bog in the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that twig there was a leaf, a rare leaf, a rattling leaf. And a leaf and a twig and twig and a branch and a branch and a limb and a limb and a tree and a tree and a bog and a bog down in the valley, oh. Bo bo the rattling bog in the bog down in the valley. Rare bog, the rattling bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. And on that leaf there was a nest, a rare nest, rattling nest, a nest, and a leaf, and a leaf, and a twig, and a twig, and a branch, and a branch, and a, branch, and a limb, and a limb, and a tree, and a tree, and a bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. Bo, bo, the rattling bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. And in that nest there was an egg, a rare egg, rattling egg, and the egg, and a nest, and a nest, and a leaf, and a leaf, and a twig, and a twig, and a branch, and a branch, and a limb, and a limb, and a tree, and a tree, and a bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. Bo, bo, the rattling bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. And on that egg there was a bird, a rare bird, a rattling bird, a bird, a bird, a egg, a egg, a nest, a nest, a leaf, a leaf, a twig, a twig, a branch, a branch, a limb, a limb, a tree, a tree, a bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, bo, bo, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, rare bog, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. And on that bird there was a feather, a rare feather, a rattling feather, a feather, a bird, a bird, a egg, a egg, a nest, a nest, a leaf, a leaf, a twig, a twig, a branch, a branch, a limb, a limb, a tree, a tree, a bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, bo, bo, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, rare bog, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh. On that feather there was a flea, a rare flea, a rattling flea, a flea, a feather, feather, bird, bird, a egg, egg, a nest, nest, leaf, leaf, a twig, a branch, branch, a limb, a limb, a tree, a tree, a bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, bo, bo, the rattling bog, a bog down in the valley, oh, rare bog, a rattling bog, and the bog down in the valley. You guys are making it too much fun up here. Well, man, we've had the pleasure of getting to go around and hang out with uh, some, some folks who uh, we've long known have been excellent musicians. Uh, but just recently on this last tour, we've got to know them as really, really good people, too, which is uh, really splendid. But we're excited to be playing tonight again with the infamous String Duster folks, yeah. y'all. we got one more tune for you right now, and then those guys are going to come up, and uh, it's going to be a hoot. Cheers, everybody.
this dog that they can paint like running from your mother. It's hard to run from something that you are. everybody we're horseshoes and hand grenades what a pleasure to be on music city roots <laughs> thank you thanks guys that feels really really good thank you we'll see you guys again really really soon hopefully we'll make sure of it cheers y'all horseshoes and hand grenades <laughs> thank you thank you so much gosh that was awesome guys thank you Thank you so much. Wow, huh? Scald. They put the scald on put it. Put the scald on it. Yes. Too. It's good stuff. It sure was. Oh, so am I supposed to do a commercial now? Oh, I forgot to introduce that. Folks. No, it's all right. I just didn't want to interrupt anything. <laughs> no, you said. let's hear it for the man who puts the brie back into Keith Bilbrey. Mr. Keith Bilbrey. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, folks, whether you're here in Tennessee, are all across the USA. French's Shoes and Boots is your headquarters for some of the best deals on Dan Post boots and more. For over 50 years, Dan Post has built a heritage of comfort and authentic Western styling. From your first step, you'll feel the difference in Dan Post comfort. Dan Post boots for the entertainer in you. Beautiful store downtown Nashville, Franklin, and 11 other cities across Tennessee. Just makes good sense to shop at French's. Your Dan Post boot headquarters. Now, for the rest of you listening in from New York to California, click on Music City Boots. That's musiccityboots.com, and click on the Dan Post boot logo. Now, it's time to go back to Craig. He's over in the chat room, sponsored by Griffin Technology, making it easier to connect to the music you love. How about it, Craig? Yeah, love it. Folks, one hey. more time, let's have a word with Peter Case. What a great set. Woo! I mean, y'all, I said so in the program, but look at the whole catalog. There is not... There is, it's great. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to finally have you here at the show because I've really admired your stuff for a long time and no feedback for you. But, um, so let's talk about, uh, one of the things that struck me was that you set out as a young guy from New York State and you went all the way west to San Francisco yeah, in I left, 1973. I, yeah, I was 18 years old, and I, it was a blizzard. I was in Buffalo, and it was one of those blizzards like you see on TV, like seven feet kind of blizzards. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually from the part of Buffalo that they call the snow belt. The people in Buffalo call the snow belt. And so uh, I caught a bus. I went to San Francisco and started playing on the street. I was a street musician, you know. 
Really? So that's how I learned how to play, just from, uh, you know, I got out there, I was seven years late for the Summer of Love, and uh, had, the, had, had that, to make do anyhow, you know. Had, the, uh, had that Summer of Love vibe kind of like gone kind of sour and fallen and broken, and was, was there a scene there? Well, I didn't think it was sour or broken. There was definitely a scene, and I saw some of the greatest musicians I've ever seen in my life, and I don't even know yes. some of their names. They'd just be on the street and passing through, kind of itinerant and traveling musicians that you'd see at that time. You don't see so much of it now. Though these guys that just played, man, they've kind of got that, they've got like a super enthusiastic vibe. Like they would have fit right in there on, uh, yeah. on the, st <laughs> the, the you know, I walk in here and these guys are like, hey man, let's jam, you know? And yeah. uh, I, you know, you never hear people say that. And I thought it was so cool that we, I pulled out my guitar and we played a little bit, you know? But, uh, but that's what it was like back then and that's how I learned. Was the, I know the country blues, uh, Mississippi John Hurt, Lightning Hopkins, that kind of thing. Uh, has uh, has inspired you through your life. Was that the core thing that you were doing at that point? Was that what was the main event? Yeah, well, what happened with me was, uh, and for a lot of people my age, it's like I was the youngest kid in a family of teenagers, and they were teenagers during the during the 50s. And so they had all those rock and roll records by Elvis and Everly Brothers and uh, Little Richard and Fats Domino. And so there's a lot of blues and all that, and I really picked up on blues. And so, you know, I got the first Bob Dylan record and the first Stones record and, like, checked out that Muddy Waters and uh, Big Joe... Uh, Williams and guys like that were writing the songs on there and so I followed it down and learned how to play that stuff And so yeah, I got into it really and when I was in seventh grade They took me they called me to the guidance office and they said what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said I want to be an itinerant blues singer <laughs> So and they said there's one in be, every class be careful kid. what you want you yeah. just might get it <laughs> So was the was the uh, era of the punk and the power pop a diversion for you? Something that you thought would be kind of fun and cool? Something that was unexpected that you just got dragged that way? What well, what explained that chapter? Well, I was trying to make a million dollars, you know. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, I, you know, it was a bunch of guys in a car, and we drove around the country like a lot of other people our age. You know, I, I was learning how to play in a band and uh, play bass. I love that kind of music, you know, rock and roll band music. So, you know, it wasn't a big stretch. I always liked songs, you know, so that's what it was, was the songs. But, you know, we, we gave it our, for 10 years, I ran around with bands back when I was like in my late, well, I guess in my 20s, you know. I was trying. I was trying to make it big. We got pretty far, but we just didn't. You know, it, You know, you, you start to realize how big the world is. You know, and how, you know when you see when you're in a band like that. You know, like you go, oh wow, I took the Beatles for granted. Really, like you know what, what they did or right. what those kind of bands achieved. You know, because uh, it's difficult, man. You know, right. or, or Tom Petty or all these people. I the have first ninety no percent huge is, respect seems for. easy, and then you realize how what a, a huge that last. Uh, uh, summit kind of uh, thing. But. There's just so many problems, but it was a lot of fun. You know, it was a real experience. You know, I mean, uh, you know, we ended up signed to Geffen Records and we had a chart hit, you know, and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But, you know, you the whole thing just kind of exploded in our face. So it was cool, you know. Uh, so the album Peter K. Sings Like Hell is the one that I sort of first got locked on. Is that, would, would, do you peg your, uh, was, that a, was that a record that set the next decade or two in motion for you? Uh, yeah, the one that really get, was a big turn on for me was like my first solo record that I did with T-Bone Burnett. And right. We, we did that in 1985 and we got, got nominated for a Grammy for it and we had Roger McGuinn and um, Jim Keltner and uh, John Hyatt sang on it and a whole lot of people like that. And so that was that was a big record for me. And then uh, and then later on playing with Ry Cooter and, um, and then on that record, Peter Case Sings Like Hell, that was just like we made that record in like six hours in Marvin Etzioni's uh, living room, you know what I mean? And a lot of people like it a lot, you know. Uh -huh. I, I know that's true. It was like really quick, you know. At one point I was laying on the floor and singing and Marvin brought the mic over and mic'd me up on the floor. You know, it was one of those kinds of records. All right. right. Well, it's, it's intimate, folks. So now it's Highway 62. And uh, you joked about spending the last five years working on it uh, night and day. But uh, I don't think that's quite true. But what led to uh, the five-year break and the, or the break in the five-year break? Yeah, like there's no break because like, you, I'm, like for me, like I just try to make sure I have a good collection of songs, you know. I'm a songwriter and I don't just like try to run out to out there uh, it, with a time thing. I'm trying to wait till I have something to say and that the songs are worth listening to and stuff. So that there's, you're not getting a record that has like one good song. Now the thing about my records though is like they don't just come out once. Like this record's already sold out so it's not available anymore. It won't be available till <laughs> next week. So, uh, it, so it's going to come out twice. So it's coming out again in about a week. This is the only copy in the world right here that's available for sale. This you is see? the only one. So if you guys want, so going somebody once wants for to pick it up. Twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred fifty. So my record will be released. It'll be released again um, as soon as the, they press some more up over in Lebanon. I guess it is.
So there you go. So maybe I'll have a few, pre a few release dates on Highway 62. But yeah, I'm real excited about it. It's getting, like, people seem to be digging it. So, um, yeah. and it was a, uh, you know, the fans got together and supported it through Kickstarter, and, and then we landed it with Omnivore Records. So, All right. yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a guess. But yeah, I mean, you know, you'd be surprised how much you really do work on. If you're a songwriter, you're never really off, man. You're out like, some, you know, you're half asleep, and like, the song starts coming, and you, you got to get up. Right. You right. got to write it down, even if it's stupid. <laughs> okay. You got to write them all down. You got to get a, oh, here comes a song. Okay. Because if I go to sleep, then the song goes over to, you know, John Hyatt's house. Or, you know, <laughs> they're up in the sky, man, you know, and they're going over, you know what I mean? If I want to write some songs, you know, like I live out, I was living out near Jackson Brown and all those guys, man. It's like they're coming over, they're seeing if I'm up and I'm going to write. And if it's not me, then they go over to, you know, uh, Peter Himmelman or uh, so Jackson Brown. Or you something. snooze, you lose. You live in the Bay Area still? I'm in the Bay Area. Okay. Back there again. Still then. Well, thanks for all the great music all over right, the man. years. Thanks good. for this one. Great. I'm going to take that record. I'm going to steal it from you. Right, Peter you Case, it. one more time, everybody. The great Peter Case. Cheers. All right. So, y'all, they seem ready. Jim, I asked Jim a favor, which was to introduce these guys. Uh, and this is, I have no script. This is totally uh, off the cuff from the heart. Uh, I, I, I really uh, adored some of these fellows when they were forming this band. They helped me understand bluegrass music better, hanging around IBMA, just, and, and they were a Nashville based band. They threw some great parties. But over the years, they have gelled into a group that, like I said before, it's different every night. They are spontaneous musicians. They listen to each other and play off each other like no band I have ever seen. One of the absolute great Americana roots, call it what you want, bluegrass, I don't care. A truly great band here on our stage, the infamous String Dusters. <laughs> I'd fashion myself something good A guitar or a fishing pole Something that would not get old If I had a block of wood If I had a roll of twine I'd make myself a rope to climb to the highest tree Look how far as I could see If I had a roll of twine If I could leave one thing behind Sorry for peace of mind Peace of mind Story for 
peace of mind, peace of mind. Supporting this great show. We lived it. We all lived in Nashville for a little while. Started the band here. It's a little bit of a homecoming for us. Nice to be back. The first two tunes we did off were off of our record Let It Go. We'll play you the title track from that one now. That are blowing. I time you went inside. For a long time I've been trying. He even thought that I was a flying. I time you let it go. If it's worry, you've been dealing over things you can't control. It's time to let it go. If you think you can make a difference and the fire is in your soul, go ahead. 
I was a highwayman along the coach roads I did ride With sword and pistol by my side Many a young maid lost her baubles to my trade And many a soldier drew his lifeblood on my blade The bastards on me in the spring of 25 But I am still alive Sailor, I was born upon the tide with the sea I did abide. I sailed a schooner around the Horn of Mexico. I went along for the mainsail in a boat. When the odds broke off, they said that I got killed. Yeah, but I'm living still. Was a dam builder across the river deep and wide, where still and water did collide. A place called Boulder on the old Colorado. I slipped and fell into the wet concrete below. They buried me in that great tomb that knows no sun. Yeah, I am still around. I'll always be around and around and around and around and around and around and Across the universe divide And when I reach the other side I'll find a place to rest my spirit if I can Maybe I will become a highwayman again Or I may simply be a single driver rain
That song, of course, Highwayman, popularized by the Highwaymen, written by Jimmy Webb. We did a whole EP, uh, five or six songs of cover tunes. Just came out. It's called Undercover. Available for purchase or for free listening anywhere that you can purchase or listen to music for free. Just fantastic. We'll be back in Nashville in March on St. Patty's Day playing the Exit Inn with, uh, with Nikki Bloom and the Gramblers. We're pretty excited about that. Be our next time in town. And we're headed south from here, Chattanooga, Atlanta, and Asheville. Play a couple more tunes off Let It Go. There's more people in the band. Andy Hall plays Dobro. 
And Andy Falco's on the guitar. Casey had met Travis Book on bass and other vocals. This is a song about a, a, a place that's far away from here, but uh, you all, and some of you all can probably relate. But uh, anyways, here we go. Colorado, it sure is good to see your face again. Up and down this highway Just looking for a friend Yeah, Colorado No matter how long I've gone You look the same Yeah, it's so damn good To know there's something Time can't change You're the only thing I'm dreaming of. Mm -hmm. I want to get mile high, touch the sky, get lost in mountains high. Whoa. Feel like the wind blows wild as a river flows. Whoa, Colorado. Thank you so much. That was fantastic, you guys. Thank y'all. The infamous String Dusters. Yes. Great. Oh, wait, and don't, hey, well, fellas, hold on. Don't go far. Stay right there. Don't, yeah. We're getting ready to have the Nashville Jam, and you folks, too, stick around. Because One more tune from everybody. Uh, Our other artists coming up to the stage. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Before we go any farther, hey, we've got a special birthday tomorrow. Right That's our friend Matt sitting there hey, in the front Matt. row. Right. I think he's been to more shows than any of us here, and we sure love you, Matt. And happy birthday. Let's sing it to him. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matt. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Yes. 
He's our man. Yeah. Front row man. All right. Mr. Bilber, are you going to do a little station ID or what's the yeah, deal? Where, well, who's next? I'm going to tell you that you're listening to Music City Roots on the Roots Radio Network based in Nashville and Franklin, Tennessee. Don't forget to download the Roots Radio app to hear music from over six years of live music, Music City Roots Cuts. Download it from the App Store or visit rootsradio.com. Now, what if you never had to pay for gas again? Well, if you drove this beautiful 100% electric no gas Nissan Leaf. You could answer that question. The Nissan Leaf gets the equivalent of 126 miles per gallon. So far, 75,000 customers in the U.S. alone are saving a lot of money and time by not having to stop at gas stations anymore. And of course, fewer parts under the hood means less maintenance. So you'll save on more than just gas. With seating for five and a roomy interior, you don't have to sacrifice space for efficiency with the Nissan Leaf. With all the comforts of a conventional car and the innovation Nissan is known for, Leaf makes going electric an everyday reality. Every new Nissan Leaf in the United States comes from right here in Tennessee. The vehicle and battery plants are located in Smyrna and Deckard, just a short drive from here. And currently, if you buy a new Nissan Leaf here in Nashville, Nashville's no charge to charge promotion provides you complimentary access to public charging stations for two full years. Talk about range confidence. So visit your local Nashville dealer today and test drive the 100% electric, no gas Nissan Leaf. Nissan Nashville proud. By the way, thanks to Griffin Technology for the phone charging station out in Sponsor Village. Once again, Craig over in the Griffin chat room. How about it, Craig? All right. That Nissan, it's got warp drive, everybody. Yeah. Did you know that? Hey, so I get to, it falls to me to thank the uh, artists tonight. Uh, what a cool night. John Connolly, Peter Case, Horseshoes and hand grenades, infamous string dusters. One big hand for all of them. They're going to get it together. Team up on a killer song. Next week's lineup is exciting. Blackstone Brewery is bringing you some more fantastic talent and more classic country. Mo Bandy coming yeah. to make his Roots debut. I know he's a fan and friend of Mr. Bilbrey. Christian Lopez Band getting a lot of buzz out there. Our own Jim Lauderdale doing a set from his new album, Whoa. Soul Sessions. So we get to hear Jim do a set like for a that. change. And uh, he's going to be joined by the North Mississippi All-Stars, who will close the night on their own, doing a set as well. So, is that their closing yeah. tonight, or, or is Tim closing? I think you night? guys are playing. No, Tim's solo. So okay. Tim O'Brien is going to be here as well. Yeah, Tim that's will right. be earlier in the evening doing a solo acoustic set. He has a brand new record called Pompadour. Uh, which I think is a, I think is his desire to be Del McCurry somehow. It's <laughs> he's styled himself up one, and uh, tickets of course on sale at MusicCityRoots.com. That's where you can find all the information about the show. You can sign up for the newsletter. You can look at the lineups going back all six years, and there's a lot of archival stuff too, and the podcast. I just put an interview up today on the website with Miss Molly Tuttle, who came over here and blew yeah. us away a couple three she weeks was ago. Great. So uh, conversation with her. She's just about 22 years old, you can say you heard her when, because she's going to be a big deal. So that's what's up. Uh, Craig, I've got a question for you guys. Now, Ready. is this our, we're going into our sixth year, or we finished our sixth year? We finished, we've had our sixth birthday, we are in our seventh wow. year. Wow. Praise be. It's hard to believe. Yep. It is. They said it wouldn't last. That's what you got to do good. in radio, you just got to stay there. Well, part of the reason it's last is this delicious Nashville jam. Oh. Big thanks to Gary and Courtney Barron of the Nashville Jam Company for sponsoring the next segment. Do you know what it says right here? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Congratulations to Renee from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Renee correctly guessed the name of the jam tune in the uh, online MCR forum. Renee has uh, only been watching for a month and considers our show her primary social event. Wow. Bless her heart. You too can join the chat every Wednesday. Just visit www.musiccityroots.com. It says here on the script, please stand up and welcome Jim Lauderdale and the Nashville Jam. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hey, Keith, by the way, what is that flavor of jam you're holding? We Did have you? peach habanero tonight. You know, I might just have to try some of that tonight. Maybe I'll just borrow that from yeah. you this evening. You'll have uh, to wrestle it away from John Conley. He likes it too. <laughs> you know what, then I'll let John have it because 
John's our special guest. Let's give all of these fellas another round yes, of applause. You guys, that was just such a, a great night. And I want to remind you that, uh, that a, lo a lot of these folks have CDs over there, and they'll love to meet you after the show. And uh, we're going to do one. This is uh, uh, one I like to ask the last band standing what they would recommend. And so the infamous String Dusters recommended this one. We sure love it. It's called Sitting on Top of the World. And y'all sing along on the chorus with us, all right? sunny day my sweetheart left me she went away oh, she's gone but I don't worry cause I'm sitting on top of the world she called me up from old El Paso said come back
much. Thank you, everybody. And hey, we've got an announcement here. We got John Walker. Well, we the theme song and say goodnight. I just had to take a minute. We had a little cry backstage, but after many years of dedicated, loyal service, from uh, an intern at MTSU until uh, my right-hand man for many years, we're saying goodbye tonight to Zachary Hughes. We love you. Give him a hand. This isn't goodbye. Thank you so much, Zach. Thank y'all so much. Now hit the theme song. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Music City Roots is a production of Hang Thy Media. Executive producer John Walker, who you just saw, and Todd Mayo. And all of us here at MCR would like to thank Zachary Hughes for his years of service to the team. We wish you well on your big boy job. Please don't be a stranger. We're glad you joined us this week for Music City Roots. Live from the factory, I'm Keith Bilbrey, and from the edge of Music City, good night, everybody.